Hello everyone, Grandma here. Happy Vlogmas. Today I am making mashed potato cookies. This recipe is from 1917 and is over a hundred years old. People would use mashed potatoes because it would cut down on the amount of flour they had to use. Here are the ingredients. One and a half cups of mashed potatoes. One cup sugar. One cup butter. One and three fourths cups of flour. Two teaspoons of baking powder one teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of cloves, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, one third cup of raisins, and one third cup of chopped walnuts. This is a very easy recipe to make. All you have to do is put all the ingredients together, but you must mix the ingredients in the order listed. So the first thing is the mashed potatoes. You have to put your mashed potatoes first in the bowl. The next will be the sugar. Mix that in. Okay, now we're going to mix the butter in. I'm, mix I'm mixing one stick at a time to make it a little easier. And a hundred years ago, this is how they would have been mixing it, all by hand. Nothing electric, no electric mixer. Okay, the next, gotta put the other stick in. The other stick of butter, break it up a little bit. Now the butter is is almost mixed in now, as you can see. It's mixed in good. Good. I think it's good enough now. It'll be good to uh, mix in the flour. Now I'm going to mix in my flour, slowly, a little at a time. Okay, now I'll put a little more in. All the flour has been mixed in, and as you could see, this is a very stiff batter. That's why you had to do the... Uh, flour a little at a time and if you think about it there's no liquid that goes in into these cookies so now I'll be adding the next ingredients which which is the baking powder See, it's a very stiff batter The next ingredients is the cinnamon. I'll sprinkle it all around. So mixing this gives your arm a, a real workout. Then the next I'll be adding the clove. Okay, and then I'm going to add the last ingredients of the spices. 
and now it has to be mixed well. Okay, the next is the raisins. I'm going to put the raisins in and mix them in. This is the part that takes the longest, <clears throat> mixing all the ingredients. And then the last is going to be the walnuts. And now we have to, I have to preheat my oven to 350 degrees. So if you hear the noise, it's my oven preheating while I'm still mixing this. Good. I'm all done mixing and I took my spatula to get everything down from the sides of the bowl. You can see it's a, it's a, this is a very stiff batter and they're drop cookies, so I'm going to drop them on the uh, uh, parchment paper. You're supposed to have it, you're supposed to bake them on a greased baking pan, but I, I'm using the parchment paper. So now my pan is here. Now I'm going to take a teaspoon at a time and, and drop them. They have to uh, bake for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, I have my uh, cookie sheet. I have the cookies, the dough all on the cookie sheet. I'll put it in the oven and let's see how they're going to grow. This is the first batch out of the oven. And uh, you see they, they're nice and brown around the edges. They smell really, really good. They don't grow as big but we'll have to see how they taste later. This is the second batch going in the oven. Some of the cookies are uh, cooling on the rack, so this is what they look like. They smell really good. All the cookies have been baked now, and I made 54 cookies. They really look nice, and they brown nicely, so uh, we have to see what Grandpa thinks. How's it taste, Grandpa? Let you know in a minute, Ma. Nice and brown, top and bottom. Tastes good. They taste soft in the middle. They got a crisp, crispy crunch on the outside. You can taste the spices that are in there. There's cinnamon, the nutmeg. Surprisingly, these mashed potato cookies taste good. For a hundred year old recipe, they taste good. You did a good job, Ma.